Hello, welcome back to Pacific Drive, the place where everything seems to be better. Now, before I start, I just want to mention a couple of things that might be interesting for some players or not interesting, but of interest. The game is one of those games that has a lot of political statements to make, and even though I have the better version or the more expensive version for cosmetics, you can do a lot of things with it, but when you, when you get over here to the stickers, as you can see, they have a lot of stickers that, in my opinion, shouldn't really be in the game because... I don't know, I don't like it when they make everything so political and they make you, they give you flags. I mean, this is the location where you are supposed to have the flags of your country. I mean, why don't I see the flags of the country I live in? Why do I have to see flags that have absolutely no connection to whatever I want to express? And they actually, I don't know, things like, I don't like it because they are presenting to a new generation the concept of whatever that is supposed to be. So they are really, really politicizing the game in such a big, big and gross way. I don't know, yeah, it's one of those games, again, I already bought the game, if I had known, I would probably have not bought it, kind of late to refund the game, because you, you get, you only see the stickers after you play, probably for 3 or 4 hours, depends on how much time you want to spend over here, also, let me show you how the car is without the cosmetics, because, ah, you cannot close the garage door, looks kind of, Simple and simple and fun, right? Right. Okay, now let's look inside. Also, put this, the thing over here. You have a few of these that you get from the uh, Ultra Edition. So as you can see, I put the decal over there. But sadly, from what I can see, they kind of spoil, so you have limited uses for them, the stickers. And look at that, we have the wheel. This is my favorite part because it's glowing. It has a little glow to it, which I find it's amazing. We have a little flag in here, we also have another flag outside. This is the radio, by the way. Look at that car being abducted. Bobblehead. To be honest, I think the steering wheel is a bit too much, so I'll try to find the better cosmetics for it because from what I see, you can also find them in the game normally. I have a few of these. Now you can also press and hold E to the detailing station to add the stickers you collect to out your game and also the bobblehead. Ah. But again, you have to look at all of that writing. It's unavoidable. You cannot. Okay, let's swap those items. You see over here what options you have. And it's not only that, as you can see, you have uh, other stuff that might not be to your like. I don't know. I'm just trying to say this the best way I can without being angry at the game. Also, we have upgraded some of our stuff as well because I played a little bit of camera just so I can get the heads up. So the problem is that you will need unstable energy and some of the rare materials. So in most cases, even if you get the parts you need or if you unlock the recipe, you still need the materials or the energy to make those. To definitely make the handbag super, super useful to get more materials from places. Definitely have the anchor ra radar because it can help you in certain situations to find the things. This is your first flashlight, the relightable flare, also add the side the side stuff. Uh, the side racks, because you can put stuff in them. So for example, you put this on your car and then you can also unlock storage space. Or you can just unlock this one, the floodlight. Interesting. Auto tracking spotlight. Your extra, your extra flashlight. Wonder how that works. Anyway, also went a little bit into the steel stuff because you really need to upgrade the car at this point of the game. But also, we need to go to the all-terrain tires because, as you can see, currently we basically have spare tires which are not very good at much. Oh yeah, I would need to upgrade this one over here. But as you can see, we need more stable energy. 
more for that as well. Also, I really wanted to get into the next level of the battery or the engine. But even if you get unlock the next upgrade for your engine, it's still going to be almost impossible to make turbo light engine because of the thermosap crystals needed. That's a lot of crystals, so it's going to be a very, very, very grindy game. As you can see for the panels, the stats are much better. But alas, you need a lot of plasma. Also, I unlocked some new clothes for me. When I say clothes, but it's more like equipment. But to get a large backpack, you need the corals. We need a lot of other stuff as well from the swamps. So we have the medium backpack, the power boots, which basically help us not die to falling damage. Not like that was a problem. And that's about it. Now let's see the facts. The facts, as you can see, we get weird faxes. Yeah, okay. I think we are mostly ready for the new adventure. As you can see, I have to go back to Sierra. And the trick is, when you get to Sierra, you have to escape through the route they show you. If you escape normally throughout the game, you do not count as a completed mission, sadly. Mine. Chemicals, that's so nice. Okay. Also, I figured out what the problem was with my FPS. So, the game has a weird setting. I think, again, it's one of the reasons I think the game shouldn't... Uh, it's hard, it's hard. It, you rarely get an interesting game like this one, but when you get one, it has the problems with the stickers, the other stuff you can see. Also, the optimization is terrible. If you use your shadows, let's say, over here to the max, I basically have 24 FPS. If I put the shadows on medium, I have double the FPS. So this is about 48, 45, 48 FPS. So you can basically double your FPS by just modifying the shadow setting. So, yeah. Uh, the game is such a mixed bag, I think. You know what, we better fill up that tank because I forgot the car running. As you can see, you do use up a lot of fuel. And also, you can fill up the tank over here, but... I'm not sure if you can fill up the tank in your base. Just like you should be able to fill it up in your base. Anyway, just make sure you fill it up during your adventure so you will never run out of gas. And the game is pretty easy as it is. Just remember to have some health kits with you. And you should be okay. And that's the main complaint people have about the game. The game is too easy. And I agree with that. So yeah. So far we have three complaints. I think I prefer the doggy, but we'll just have to play like this for now. We're on steamer mode, right? Right. So let's play some radio music. Let's see what we get. And I believe we have to go through the swamps in this area to collect more rare resources and this will just be for the main mission. But here it will show you everything you need to see, so as you can see the game is not so bad. I think the developers wanted to make a different type of game, but because of other reasons they ended up making a more... relaxed game, I don't know. I think the game 
if they manage to rebalance the difficulty, this might be one of the best games of the year, but, you know, it's kind of sad that so many games with so much potential are not that good anymore. Very plugged, I'm not sure what that does. So whenever you pick up energy from these things, you have to open the door and just bunny hop up to your car. Looks like we have strong winds today. That's super noisy. Also, I don't know why I'm doing it like this. I guess I just like to loot everything individually, but I can just press T. dangerous could be Okay, we're out of the hurricane. <laughs> Hello, fellow tourists. Usually you can enter the containers and they have pretty good loot. Eh, yeah, I don't like those boss, so... I guess you can find the car by the sound of the radio. That's a different looking car than what I'm used to. Also make sure you scan everything because some of the unlocks abandoned scan some of the unlocks will need you to scan stuff. Truck. Also you can find trucks that have very interesting rewards for you or loot. I uh, said so we cannot take this door to put it on our car. It would be funny if you can do that. 
Oh yeah, the game feels so much better with more FPS. Imagine that. Also, I really want to eat the big MREs. How did I miss that? Oh, there can be something behind the thing as well. That's interesting. Oh, if you press transfer... Oh, you can accidentally put all of your stuff in a container and forget about it. Oh no, a radiation zone is starting there. That's not a fun area at all. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't intend to do a lot of looting, but just a bare minimum. We also have to scan that at some point. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to scan the boss, so... Hello, friends! <laughs> oh, another paint. Friendly dumpsters in the missions will have a lot more loot. A dumpster pearl. I love those things. Okay, let's quickly go inside and then we'll leave the area. Tourists. I'm beginning to really, really dislike those tourist fellows. Well, I guess you don't really need the ceiling kit or the mechanics kit. You can just craft them in your car. So don't, don't take anything that just fills up your car with spray with uh, random junk. Yeah, sometimes the game gets so dangerous, that's why you need to always have medkits on you. Looks like the radio will always be on. I guess it's independent from the engine. I don't remember if I scanned this anomaly. Oh yeah, we scanned it. Enough atmosphere, let's just do the main objective. Unless we encounter some science labs, I don't want to loot anything on the next map. Sure, that seems ominous. Instability. It will also show you a lot of information about the cars, current state and out of all stuff, but to be honest, I don't care, I don't care, I just want to go from point A to point B and finish the mission. Hmm. Okay, so I guess this is not such a pleasant adventure in the beginning, maybe it will turn around, maybe the rest of the game can make the first part kind of... Not so bad. <laughs> well, it says I have to go to the next junction, so I guess you have to leave this area for the next one. I don't know, it only seems like in Seram it's cloudy or dark in a way. I like that. 
Well, I like it because I'm not supposed to be here. I guess I'll just have that weird cracking noise. Ah, it's probably nothing. The way you're supposed to collect those things is to just mark them on your map, go for a quick jog in the woods and come back as fast as you can. I should probably heal up. I mean, it's very hard to die when you have almost infinite healing, but it can happen. This is going to be so sketchy. What is this supposed to be? Other investigator? Yeah, hey, look at this. I guess the loot is so much better. You can also find the thermal sap crystals over here. If you loot the trucks only. So that kind of makes me wonder about all of these things. I guess it's just better to loot. Oh no, I cannot carry this with me. <laughs> I was about to say I cannot carry that with me, but that's dangerous. Also, your health is dropping. I don't think we'll take any fall damage if we just bunny hop like this. That's why I don't really stop the engine of my car. Rats, they are actually missing with the car itself. Everything is calm. Well, as calm as can get. Ah, I need an electronic uh, electrician's kit to open this one. But this place over here is amazing to loot. This is where you'll find most of your loot. Those are shooting here. I'll just loot this location and go to the next one. Especially great for chemicals, which will allow you to repair your car as much as you like. Which, as you can see, just makes the game a lot easier, having more repairs. One of the blow torches. I guess we can take it back.
And craft an okay. Yeah, this game has so many things going for it. Well, and also so many bad things going for it as well, not just good thing. Good things. Yeah, just let me repair everything as close as possible to my axe. Yeah, the blowtorch is much better than the thing. So I need better doors everywhere. Come on game, destroy the thing, I am tired of repairing, I mean I finished the repairs. Oh, don't get that. What did I need for the electrician kit? Apparently I cannot make the electrician kit, I guess I can find it only or something like that, anyway doesn't matter. Yeah, okay, let's loot the rest of the stuff in here and then we'll leave. Whoa, okay. That was not so bad, so let's see what's over here. Looks like, oh, it's perpetual stability, that's nice. I guess there will be a lot of zones where you can just go and loot stuff because they are more or less safe-ish. When I say safe-ish, you can still die in any zone, but it's super hard to die in this game, especially with your super, super healing. Okay, not bad. I have to say I enjoyed this part so far. Also, we got a lot of cosmetic stuff, which I'm not sure is so important. I don't know. They could have handled the cosmetic stuff a little better, maybe. There can be a bit of a maze. If you get lost, follow the pipes. The limb tech and those stabilizers ran so damn hot, only more limb tech could contain it from complete meltdown. of September 14th, 1961. My colleague, Dr. James Kay, was conducting experiments at a highly classified site in the deep zone. He was assisted by my husband, Dr. Alan Turner. At 0400, their experiment unleashed a gamma ray surge that instantly killed both of them. The surge was an impossible amount of energy, orders of magnitude greater than any man-made source. It also triggered hallucinations in anyone awake within a 10-mile radius. It was a burst of widespread insanity, but only for a short moment. And then what happened? Well, I guess that's all the story we need to know for now. Okay, so our mission is just to link the stabilizer. How? Bad can it be, right? Probably very bad. <laughs> Man, as soon as you turn a corner in this game, you can encounter anything from crash test dummies to electrical storms to almost tornado like winds. I don't like these guys. Maybe we can shoot them with a flare gun or something at some point. Okay, I hope this is all we have to do. Just wow, that's huge. 
That's a bug. I might as well check all of the chests. Who's throwing? Oh, a repair party. Uh, thank you, weird anomaly. A bit weird, but we managed to get in. Yeah, no more looting, just mission. Well, I guess you have to check this one, might be something rare. Ah, no. of hallucinations sure didn't feel short when i was free falling through outer space heck of a ride though did you know the rings of satin sing i saw disembodied arms tons of them they were grasping crawling everywhere and uh what about you Oppy? what did you see i saw nothing how is that possible everybody else saw something must have passed me by i don't know what to tell you but were you working in your lab that night and weren't you supposed to be doing your research rather than keeping track of my whereabouts? Okay. Wow. That's she. Hey, that's weird. Oh man, I have to drive so much through the level. Okay, let's see if we can take a shortcut. Okay, I cheated a little bit because I went up a mountain to get to this place, but... Eh. Okay. Yeah, I'm really afraid to use transfer materials now. Uh, hey, Oppie. You've never cared about any of the zone stories and superstitions. So, why now? What's in this for you? What I do is not, and has never been any of your business. You're asking us to trust you, so yes, it's our business now. How about this? You two sign off, count orbs, or whatever it is you like to do, and I'll get the driver to the mass hallucination source myself. Excuse me? No, 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 no. Tobias found this remnant. This is his discovery. Sure. And I'll send you a nice gift basket to mark the occasion. But I won't let anyone interfere with this. I don't get the it. The hell with that! We either throw everything we can at this thing, or we lose this chance, and the answers to the mass hallucination are gone forever! This isn't like one of your little Sasquatch hunts. I'm not letting you get your tinfoil pseudoscience anywhere near this. This is too damn important to me. It sure didn't seem too important earlier, when you messed up and nearly killed the driver. You wanna play that game? You really wanna talk about our track records? Screw you, Oppy. I'd rather run this remnant into the ground than work with either of you. Oh, forget it. We're wasting our breath with this old man. There's yeah. gotta be another way. She's out of her mind. I can't do this. I... Look, if you want to waste your precious time picking apart bird droppings and squinting at constellations, by all means, follow their lead. I were better off without them. Trust me. I'll get you through no matter what. I don't trust you. Can I choose them? This really is my last chance. Oh, that's a huge thing over there in the distance. So the pipes actually lead somewhere. So the big pipes lead into a huge pipe. Not a lot of materials on this map, to be honest. I think the best one is, of course, the Sierra map. But I'm also getting spikes. The stability in your region is tanking. Get out of there. Fast.
How fast do you want me to get out of here? Get to the gateway. What gateway? Okay, I guess you want me to... Fine. Oh! Try. The game has a nasty habit of just setting you up for failure like this. That's not how a normal sky should look like. Yeah, I really don't care about that. It's... Oh man, as soon as I try to relax a little bit and just watch what's happening, all sorts of bad things happen. It's impossible to drive in this game sometimes. I don't understand why they made the driving so unbearably annoying. You're basically just looking at your monitor the whole time, so might as well just put the monitor in front of you. Yeah, it, it's so annoying. You, you cannot drive in this game. A driving game where you cannot drive so well. Ouch. I have a feeling that was an explosive battle. I don't know, this is... If you're wondering what happened there, again, I hit some anomaly which took control over my car and I don't care. At this point, I just get back to the garage. It's it's kind of annoying that you have so many... How are you even supposed to look at your destination like this? You cannot go straight into the thing because I saw there are those bumpers that would probably destroy my car even more. Okay, let's just go over there. Uh, what? 80% health? No problem. Not one problem at all. I really wish I could collect that unstable energy. I don't know why nice you have... Work out there. The sector stabilizers are fully operational. Nice Got a straight work. shot toward the expansion wall. One more thing. You may want to consider armoring up a bit. Once you cross that wall, the mid zone is another beast altogether. Yeah, you don't say. Definitely is a lot harder. Uh, I really want to see what this looks like. And uh, for the paints, well, I guess the paints are not so fun. I don't understand why I have to put the decals over here, like it's... I think they just made it so you have to look at the stickers. Okay, let's play a little more and then I'll end the video. Don't, don't... I guess we'll read, when we have, we'll read them when we have all of them. Can we break down the blood bolts? Yeah. Oh, they bring in, they break into nice things. Yeah, I would really like to know how to collect the unstable energy. I guess it's 
with a tool or something, but they should really give you more information about stuff like this. Also need to be able to make electrician's kit. Light replacement ball, but I guess we should have had this one a long time ago. Yeah, I guess I'll have to farm off camera for another hour and then we have to go back get more more interesting things. Definitely we need more storage. Well, I guess we need six steel sheets and then we'll do it. <laughs> we should have gotten that so long ago. Wait, how many did I need? Six? I think six. Over here next to the other lockers. I hope it's bigger. It's probably going to be the same size. Oh, it is bigger. Expanded locker, and this is a normal one. Is it the same one? I don't know. It seems a little bigger to me. I need holding your vitals. No, thank you. Also, we got a lot of cars, we basically found all of the other trucks. But too bad they don't tell you what you get. I think they should just give you a short introduction of what you can find, like items, materials, and so on. Car opener. That sounds bad. Very pl barely plugged. Oh, so that's what it does. You summon a tornado every time you get one of those, though. Nice. It's bold. Oh, so we need to fix it at the fabrication station. Certain. Right. Okay, I have a lot of bubble fence. Yeah, I have a lot of things to discover. I like this, but hmm. It, it's an interesting game, but I don't know. I just has too many bad things going for it for now. Well, this will take a while to repair. Okay, let's refill the car and then we'll end the video. So might as well use the energy zap. I don't know. I like using it. It's like using Frankenstein's uh, awakening Frankenstein's monster. Uh, might might as well make another one. So I guess it's just better to make spare parts that you can put in that thing and they will repair themselves. Yeah, almost everything is smashed. Not to mention the missing door. See you next time. Bye bye.